my loves, Hasina here. Uh, today we are doing a tutorial for concealer, under eye concealer specifically. So this is for anyone who has darkness under the eyes. I don't know if the light's helping or hindering that. Fine lines, like I do right here, crow's feet, anything like that. Um, and how to make sure that, you know, we make that, we minimize the appearance of that as much as possible. So I wanted to show you completely bare face. This is me, these are the bags, or darkness rather. Here you can get a better idea of the lines. And on this side, a little bit of the lines. Um, I'm completely moisturized. I'm going to prep my skin with a primer. I like primer. And um, I will be taking out the parts that aren't relevant to the concealer, which is supposed to be the focus for uh, this video. So um, let's get started, okay? All right. Okay, so now I've primed my skin and I've added a little highlight to my cheeks and nose area. Sometimes I like to do that before um, foundation to kind of give some glowiness to the skin without actually have to make the have to make without actually having to make it so dewy um, but that's not really the focus of that so you don't have to do that the only important step to me in my mind is is making sure that you're well primed um, as far as make sure that like especially if there's fine line issues make sure that your skin is moisturized well moisturized and, but unless you have like severely dry skin, don't over moisturize, especially under the eye area. So definitely like when I say I prep my, my skin, I do put on an eye cream, but I don't overdo the amount, you know, just the tip of your finger, pat together and pat on both sides and that should be sufficient. When I use my primer, I do, I use um, Tash, Tasha primer, it's a little pricey, but I think it's really, really, it's really good skincare in addition to being a primer for makeup. And it, you can put it on your lips, you can put it on your eyes. So I really like that. Um, so I like my skin very well moisturized, but not overly moisturized because it will get into the lines of your under eye area. And let me already say this, I'm not going to tell you that you're never going to have creasing. I think that's just such a lot. What you can do is minimize creasing and you can reduce the depths of creasing, meaning not having so much product sitting in the eye so it looks so harsh. But unless you're not being expressive, you're going to get creasing and that's okay, you're a human being. So the first thing also, I have some major don'ts in what I do. This works for me. I'm not saying that it should, it will work for you, okay? Um, but it's worth a try. I'm having a good time doing it. So the first thing I do, you see I still don't have foundation on yet. I like to put my concealer on before I ever do foundation. Now, this may be a step that some people can skip. I go all the way around because I I'm, I'm old school. I don't like a peekaboo of darkness. So I use a concealer that is my color but a hair warmer. Um, and that can usually cancel out the darkness grayness. Um, you can also use a corrector. And you'll see them in any store where there's, uh, where you're getting eye products. You'll usually see like a peach or an orange or red depending on your skin tone and that can cancel it out too. It's really your preference. And also you may not need this step, okay? Cause if you're fine with like the slightest hint, that's absolutely your call. Now you'll see, I put the concealer underneath. I don't go all the way up because that's where there's more lines and you're just gonna, it's gonna become a fighting battle. And let's not, you know, let's save our battles for <laughs> for last. So what I do here, I put that on first. 
then I do my foundation. I like to let the concealer dry out. I think, um, well I know Jackie Aina talks about that often. I like to let this sit and dry. So I'll put on my foundation now, so I'm gonna do that. Okay, so my foundation is on. The first thing you should notice that I do, I did not put foundation on top of that. I leave my under eye areas clear of foundation because they're they're a delicate area. So some people can do it. I think maybe more the younger you are, you can do it. But if your foundation is not canceling out the under eye area issue, then you're going to put concealer on top of that. And if you want a highlighting concealer on top of that, it's just too much product for your under eye area. So you're going to have more creasing. So I let the foundation meet where the concealer is, but never um, overlap, never on top of it. So then I take a beauty blender. And this is the part where, oh, I hope nobody cancels me for this. I do not wet it. Yes, I do not wet it, I do not dampen it, anything, because I want the least amount of wetness in my under eye area, and I want the most amount of coverage, and I don't want a lot of movement in this area so that there aren't, there are the least amount of, least amount of creasing at this stage as possible. Um, there will be moisture added there, but not yet, so right here and I like to start on the outer corner so that we can nicely lift. See, we're lifting up. There we go. And again, this is still the concealer that is being used kind of like a corrector to take out that grayness, darkness under the eye. So I go from the corners on each side first. Then I start coming around. I also like a contoured um, blender brush, blender, whatever these things are, blender sponge, um, so that you can really get into the eye area. Again, I let it naturally get higher up into the eye. I don't move it there. It'll just kind of like diffuse itself, okay? So this is still kind of warm but with setting powder and everything, you could kind of get away with this if you don't like highlight. If you are done, you can spray it, I, which I will show you in the next step. You, will, you can spray it, make sure that there's no creasing there, and then set it with powder and be done. I like a highlight, so I wouldn't stop here. But as you can see, and I like to go lightly over the eyelid, just to even out the skin tone, not excessively, just to even it out. Because if you're like me, you have like a little um, olive undertones, and so it can look a little green there. So from that step, now it's dry. If you notice, it is dry, but not dried out. You still have moisture appearing. Nothing looks dried out, but nothing's wet. You're not adding to creasing. So, if you're like me and you like highlighting, we are going to highlight this with a lighter concealer. This is a brand new one, so it's taking me a bit of a minute. There we go, now we got product. I wanna go over the same spot. I'm not gonna go all the way across. I'm going to hit what would typically be the darkest spots of my eyes. So that for me is this inner corner. But again, if you see, I'm not going up into where the lines typically are or, or right, what I mean, like right under the eyelash. I'm not going all the way up there. I'm going right under. And I'm not going all the way out. You'll see why. So I'm going closer to the inner part of the eye maybe just slightly more in and I'm stopping here and I'm leaving this whole space open. I'm gonna do the same with the other eye. This eye tends to be darker than the other one so I pay attention to that. I add a little more. Looks like I my phone died a little bit but um yeah I didn't do anything you didn't miss much. What 
I said I add a little more product to where I know it is a little darker for me and that's typically right there under that eye. Um, and you don't even have to go too low. This is fine. So I let this sit and I contour. Again, we're letting it dry, we're letting it sit. So I'm going to do that and contour and I'll show you the rest. Okay, so we're contoured. And now we have these under eye areas that we're going to blend. I like to start with the brush, with the blending sponge, and start on the lowest point. So we're not even anywhere near the eye area, really. We're just starting from me. Lowest point again. But you see, I'm always going upwards. So we're lifting the eye area. So even if you have some lines, you're still getting a lifted appearance. So it's it's still going to take away that edge. Okay. So again, I'm diffusing that out. Now I'm getting closer to the eye area. I'm lifting. Look where that sponge is. The point of the sponge is at the end of my eye crease. And I'm staying up. And I'm lifting up. This sounds tedious, but it's not going, like, you won't even have to think about it once you get used to it. Now, I did that, but I'm still underneath the eye area, and I'm just using the product that was at the bottom of the concealer patch that I had. I'm not even really touching into where the majority of the concealer is, right? And so we're gonna leave that alone. Not done yet. Doing the same thing here, lifting at the eye area. Right? But it's still not all the way up. Now we're gonna switch from a sponge to a brush. Okay. But with the brush, because I think the brush allows the product to sit more, you're not diffusing, diffusing, diffusing it out. And you want to keep that vibrance underneath the eye. So, going right from where we were, and going just slightly more in. Just picking up a little product at a time as we go inward. Right? Now, if you see me, I'm going down. I'm still not hitting that right spot where, which would be the darkest part of my eye. I'm actually avoiding it. I'm going to the side of my nose, inner eye corner area. I'm even getting into the lid area. Patting and swiping when I'm here. And now you see, I haven't touched that yet. Now I'm gonna just touch it just gently. There we go. Because now it's just about dry. It's not going to really budge much to begin with. Okay. There we go. One eye down. It's not perfectly blended. You're going to see why. Okay. So I'm doing the same thing here. Just bring a little more product. A little at a time. Just so there's no patchiness. See, I want to make sure you can see that, that the light is not taking it away. You see this eye. So we're almost fully blended there, but we're not done yet. Doing the same thing here. And again, we're going to go to the inner part of that side of the eye, side of the nose, inner corner eye area. White over here, 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 here. Back to padding. We're touching ever so slightly. If we remember, this is the eye that has more product because that's a darker eye. So we're even more deliberate with how gentle we are being with the product. Okay. So there we have it. We can actually swipe some over the eyelid, get rid of any lines. So here we go. We're almost completely blended. What we're gonna do now is we are going to mix with a setting spray. I prefer a matte 
Um, I think it holds everything into place, but um, it's your preference. So, so we, I don't know if you missed that. That was just mostly blending. Um, we sprayed it, we set it. Whew, let me start again. We sprayed using the setting spray and then we use the sponge to make sure we didn't have any crease issues. And, um, oop, 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 having technical difficulties. And we're back. I'm trying, y'all. I'm trying not to be deterred by things, so we're back. Okay, so like I said, we did spray, we did sponge, now we're going to do powder. I got this trick from Painted by Spencer. His makeup skills are phenomenal. Um, to use a powder puff, which is like, I would not think to do that ever, but we are going to. We're going to use a powder puff at some point. The first thing we're going to do, though, because I think you need the extra loving care when you have these under eye lines. So, before we do the powder puff, we are going to put a little powder either into the palm of your hand and then use a brush to pick it up. So palm of your hand and a brush to pick it up, right? And you're gonna tap off any excess, I tap it off on my wrist. And I am going to just gently tap the eye area, just gently, because we don't wanna over pat it, okay? I want to do that first. Same thing, other eye, pat, pat, pat. And same thing here. Okay. Okay, so after we do that step, because we have the powder there, just a light touching of the powder. Instead of fully baking, this is gonna seem freaking crazy, y'all. Uh, but you're gonna, again, have that powder in your palm of your hand and dab it with the powder puff. And, so get my wet hair out of the way. We are going to hit right under the eye. This is when you wanna super duper, you wanna bake but you can't bake anymore because you got Fine lines, hit, hit, hit. Now this seems crazy, right? But I'm telling you, it works. It really works. We don't let that sit, loves. We do not because we are not 24 unless you are 24. You have a big happy brush. There is nothing on it but your love. And you, my friend, brush all that away. Brush it all away. You're brushing it all away. Right? And so, under eyes looking fresh, looking good. Let's finish my makeup. I'll be right back. So makeup done. This is the look. Went for red lips, but the point here no darkness, no fine lines that are excessive. Everything is minimal. And I hope this was helpful. Um, like I always say, if there are any types of tutorials you'd like to see or conversations, chats you'd like to have, um, let me know. I'm getting into the flow of it and I'm enjoying it. And I'd love to do some cool stuff, all right? So let me know if this helped. Um, I will talk to you guys soon. Have a wonderful, wonderful week. And be kind to yourselves and each other. One love. Peace.